Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, today is a very special day for me. Today is about a week before Valentine's Day. And while many other people like to celebrate Christmas or their birthdays for a week, I personally like to celebrate Valentine's Day for a week. And this is a special one, a big one. I never usually have Valentine's dates, except this year I have a girlfriend. It's gonna be a big Valentine's. You know why? Because I'm gonna ask her, or I'm gonna ask her, yeah, I'm gonna ask her that. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm gonna get ready for the day and I'm gonna give her a call. Here's the catch is she has no idea that I have a date planned. For the past month or so, she's been asking me if we have plans for Valentine's Day and she's been getting really upset. So yeah, we're gonna break the news to her today and I'm gonna surprise her and let her know that we got plans, so. Oh. All right, let's head downstairs. Let's do it. <laughs> it's raining men. Hallelujah. I mean, rock you like a hurricane. Hey, babe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can tell you. Yeah, I can tell by the tone of your voice you're pretty mad. Well, okay. Well, let me, let me, let me tell you something really quick. You know how I haven't made plans for Valentine's Day and you've been pretty mad? Well, I made plans. Yeah, we're going out to dinner. Riley O. Buck's Steakhouse. Okay? It's gonna be special. Wait, what? You were, you didn't hear anything I just said? Okay, well, what do you mean? You're breaking up with me. Just zero to 60. I, not wearing deodorant, not brushing my, I, I brush my teeth. Talking in my sleep, okay, okay. Well, you're obviously pretty mad right now. <laughs> no, you're serious. Well, well, fuck. And I never really loved you. <laughs> what are you doing? You're single now. It's Valentine's week, your favorite week of the year. Go out there and have some fun. Enjoy yourself and tell the whole world you're single and you're proud of it. We're not gonna sit inside and cry today, ladies and gentlemen, old grandmothers and old grandfathers who are single. I am gonna show you some things that are gonna make you feel better. You guys ready for this? Let's go. I'm gonna show you guys some places and some things to do that are gonna make you feel a lot better today. Okay, it's gonna make me feel better. And while I understand everyone likes to do different types of things, this is just what helps me. And so, looking out there at you guys, I just wanna help you too. So consider doing these things and you're definitely gonna feel better about yourself by the end of the day. And you're gonna forget all about your girlfriend, even if she was with you for five years. But, let's go. Well, this brings us to our first spot. Since you're single now, you can go out to dinner or lunch or whatever by yourself. I know there's a lot of stigma behind going out to restaurants by yourself, sitting in the corner, feeling like a weirdo, all by yourself, have to pay the whole bill by yourself, couples all around you looking at you. You know, one of the pros is that you're gonna save yourself some money, okay? You only have to buy dinner for one, and just because you're sitting over there in the corner by yourself doesn't mean you're a bad person. So take this time to go out in public, be strong, be proud of being single and being who you are, and don't worry about what other people think. Let's move on to the next location, and you guys are gonna feel even better after this next one. Guys, there could be no better place in the world for dealing with being single on Valentine's Day than the mall. So since we're at the mall, we can do some therapeutic shopping. We can check out some possible suitors, suitesses, whatever you wanna call it, and uh, see if we can find some mannequins or something else, I don't know. Hey, uh. Do you want to go on a date? Hey, uh, do you want to go on a date? No? Damn it. Don't mind me, I'm just single. Looking for a date at the mall. Oh, you don't like red shirts? Okay. I thought it was the mohawk. No, it's not the sick mohawk? Okay. Oh, hell no, dude. This is where my girlfriend used to go. Eyebrow beauty. It makes me feel pretty sad to be here, so let's check out something else. <laughs> they reminded me of her. <laughs> if we would have had a daughter, she would have looked like this. <laughs> so guys, we all know that shopping is very therapeutic for uh, being sad and stuff like that. So I'm gonna find you guys some things that are pretty dope and are gonna make you feel better 
about yourself, you know? It's time to downsize, guys. Now that you're single, you only need a really small bed. So that's gonna save you some cash. Slang your uh, your Sealy Posturepedic on Craigslist, buy that little mattress back there for 15 bucks, and you are good. You are good, and you're gonna make some money. You can also buy as many rain boots as you want without anyone complaining about buying too many rain boots, again. You can use all this toilet paper here to uh, clean up all the sh all the uh, stuff your ex left behind. Was your ex really skinny and all these years you've really been wanting a BBW? Uh, well, you can find books, binders, and water bottles here. Maybe that's BBWB actually. Totally different thing. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna ask this mannequin out on a date. Couldn't help but notice you standing there, wondering if you're single. I am. And Valentine's Day is coming up, and I love that you have no facial features and hair. I was wondering if you'd like to go on a date with me? No? Okay. Okay, I'll just ask someone else. There's plenty of other people that look just like you. Hey, ladies. Hey, ladies, uh, you ladies wanna go on a date with me? No? Get out of here? Get out of here? No. Okay. okay, fine. You ladies look more like my type. Um, I mean, do you want to go on a date with me next week for Valentine's Day? One of the most intimidating things about groups of mannequins in particular is that they can be very standoffish and quiet. Well, that's okay guys, if you get rejected five or 12 times at the mall, it's not a big deal. It's just one mall. <sighs> there's tons of other fish in the malls. Or there's tons of other fish in the seas, tons of other malls, tons of other mannequins, whatever. You know, it's not a big deal. It's not you them. All right, everybody, I gotta head home. I got other stuff I gotta take care of today, so I'm sorry I couldn't find you a date. We'll try on our way home. One last ditch effort to find a date or happiness or whatever. Forget being single during Valentine's week, my favorite week of the year. So we're gonna give it a couple more tries, okay? La -dee -dee. Hey, are you single? Hey, stoplight, are you single? Oh, it's a green light. Oh, God, sorry. Guys, I have no luck right now. It's not looking up for me for this week. Valentine's Day is a little over a week away, and unless I get lucky and someone sees this video and loves my mohawk, I'm probably gonna be waiting until next year. But don't forget to stay strong. And just because your boyfriend or girlfriend dumped you, doesn't matter. You're still a good person, and you're still strong, and you're attractive, and you're physically fit. You have no diseases and you know those are the things you got to be thankful for not some stupid mannequin or products for your hair to make you look better no this whole thing is about self-love and self-care thanks for coming again next week it's gonna be a little more upbeat and lighthearted. sorry if this made you feel sad or depressed but again love yourself goodbye